Not all heroes wear capes. Some wear scrubs, masks, gloves, boots, and some may even carry a stethoscope. Let's acknowledge our local heroes, our nurses, doctors, paramedics, technicians, soldiers, and our police officers. What makes them unsung heroes? They are selfless. They risk their lives for others daily and commit to putting others before themselves. There are many other persons who are also essential in these unprecedented times to include you. So after such outbreak across the island and the disease and the fact that people have your fence are hard to survive, gangsters still are mixed up, innocents still are dead. Viewers and subscribers, two children among eight people killed across the island in the past 24 hours. We have a lot coming up. Remember, like the video, share the video, subscribe, support the movement. One connection or no connection. Eight murders in the past 24 hours have threatened to erase the gains of local crime fighters who have reported a decline in all major crimes since the island started its battle with COVID-19. The latest victims include 15-year-old Nyron Taylor, a student of Tivoli Comprehensive High School who was killed in Denham Town about 11.30 yesterday morning, and 8-year-old Taya Brown who was fatally shot hours later also in Denham town in what the police believe was a reprisal attack. The killings continued yesterday in St. Anne where 26 year old Andy Reid better known as Fry Eye and cook shop operator Ivan Williams otherwise called Bigger were fatally shot in the Ocherius market. The ongoing gang war in August town St. Andrew also claimed another life yesterday when 36 year old Adrian Calvier Levy, an auto mechanic of Constitution Hill, was fatally shot by unknown assailants. Also in the corporate area, 26-year-old Anthony Rigg, OC Reds, of a grass quit glade Kingston 11 address, was shot dead by unknown assailants on the nearby Oakland Road. In St. Catherine, 37-year-old Curtis Doyle, a mechanic of Adela Vega City Spanish Town address, was gunned down on Adelaide Street in the town, while in neighboring Clarendon, 23-year-old Devoney Powell O.C. Solo of a Box Common Maypen address in the parish was fatally shot in an area known as Box Heaven. A 29-year-old female was also shot in that incident. She was taken to hospital where she was admitted. The police were also called to two shooting incidents in Montego Bay, St. James, where a gunman left two persons injured. Now, viewers and subscribers, may I tell you now, despite all we are going on, our time tough and how much people are fear got you and a take on. You know what I mean? Criminals still are mixed up and a lot still are happen different from where people have taken naturally through them day to day life. Tell me what you think about what I go on. Tell me what you thoughts in the comment area. Remember, like the video, share the video, subscribe, support the movement. One connection or no connection.